Well, as you saw there, the river levels along the St. Croix are making for some tough situations. In fact, the St. Croix River near Stillwater is at risk of hitting potentially historic flooding levels. Now, this is a look from Sky 4 of what the river in Stillwater looks like today. As Barrett Leone shows us, state and city leaders were there this morning to see the preparations for themselves. This isn't Stillwater's first rodeo, and the city has gotten quite good at preparing for the worst over the last few years. In addition to this massive sandbag levee, the city has also built a temporary berm on the other side along the waterfront to stop water from seeping in downtown. Now, Senators Amy Klobuchar and Tina Smith joined Stillwater Mayor Ted Koslowski and others for a tour of the flood prevention work that's been done here this morning. The St. Croix River is expected to crest next week, but before that happens, it's going to rise another 10 feet. State leaders say FEMA is at the ready. We are ready, um, more than ready to respond. We've gotten really quick, um, quick response from FEMA in Minnesota. Uh, FEMA is a good four letter word in our state. Um, so um, if, if it happens, we're ready. That's the impact of climate change on the way that snow melts and how much snow we get and how much water there is. And uh, the need to mitigate that impact is really intense. And despite that major flood risk here in Stillwater, state and city leaders want to emphasize that the city is still open for business. But be aware that some roads and trails they could be closed because of the flood prevention work. In Stillwater, Barrett Leone, WCCO News.